theater can connect across communities, across cultures, across the things that we think divide us. And so it's a dream job to be able to work with the staff and a board that really believes in the power of theater that activates. You know, yes, we can be entertained, but let's also be enlightened. And I like to think that the best plays start after the curtain ends. It's after the curtain call when we engage in dialogue with our neighbor and we start to see in one another empathy come alive. That's what was guiding our thought process. It's what's guided Mosaic uh, since its founding by the great Ari Roth till today. And as we build forward, my mission was to build on that foundation with new energy and new insight. And as our brilliant marketing team says, a new kind of joy. And so as we look to the future of this organization, those are the things that are guiding us. Work that's thought provoking, work that's full of joy and energy, and work that I hope speaks to what it means to be an American, a citizen today, and imagines the world not just as it is, but as it could be. And so as we thought about the plays, you know, the themes that kept arising were, how do we look to our past in order to understand who we are now and where we might want to go? And that vision has led us to this lineup. It's like a really, ooh, it's kind of weird to sound like, okay, we're gonna say this, we're gonna do this, can't go back now. Um, but with lots of excitement and gratitude to our team, especially our brilliant artistic staff, Psalm, Angelisa, Chelsea, Chris, thank you, artistic production team. It is my honor to share with you all the 22-23 Mosaic season. So we kick off with the Till Trilogy, three plays by master writer Aoife Baeza, who is with us today, and will share her inspiration, her vision. But it's a project that a lot of you in this room have heard about. You know, it was a project that Mosaic was gonna produce about three years ago, and it was one of the first things, we got to the end of the interview stage, it was like, um, we've got this project <laughs> that we're really, really excited and proud of, and we've got some extraordinary support from uh, founders, uh, funders rather, who really believe in our mission, like the Great Roy Cochran Foundation and NEA, and newly adjoining our team is the Cross Currents Foundation. We, Reg, really want to make this project happen. Does it fit your vision? And I said, it more than fits my vision for what theater can do. That we can look to moments of our history in order to better understand ourselves is what I really believe in theater can be. Now, the Till Trilogy kicks off with the Ballad of Emmett Till, a play that's about 25-ish years old. We're getting a new production of it, a fresh take on it, uh, from director Talvin Wilkes, who's currently working on Broadway with For Colored Girls. He's going to hang out in D.C. with us this summer and fall and bring this trilogy to life. We then will do Benevolence, a second uh, production ever of this beautiful play that really reckons with, or, or forces us to reckon with the fact that what happened in 1955 has repercussions and reverberations today. And Andy said in it to George Floyd and sadly perhaps beyond. And then a world premiere play, That Summer in Sumner, which is still being written. We are hiring a dramaturg to keep fleshing the work out. And that to me is exactly what Mosaic does best. New work that speaks to what it means to be a creative thinker in this moment, in this city, and supporting master artists and bringing those works to all of you. But it was just like, that's not enough. I'm a little greedy, I guess, maybe too ambitious. Because when I think about these plays, they're quite personal. Emmett, George, could be me. And I never want us to forget the reality that the work we put on stage ideally speaks truth to power. It reflects who we are as a community in the fullness of our truth, which is, yes, that pain, but also that joy and resilience. And so we wanted to produce the Till Trilogy in a way that allows us to reckon with racial injustice in our country, but also get inspired about the chance to respond differently when we leave the theater. To think about what DC as a community wrestles, what justice means to all of us. And so we built the Till Trilogy Reflection Series in partnership with about 25 cultural organizations all of whom will be spreading the message of Mosaic's new chapter in this brilliant production of the Till Trilogy, creating their own work, whether it's a reading series, panel discussions, concerts, poetry, dance, music, and theater, so that all, every ward of our city is engaging in a reflective conversation about the role of justice and how we as artists and arts leaders can activate audiences to own their responsibility to make this world a better place. I am so honored and grateful to those partner organizations from the Library of Congress, 
busboys and poets, boards, theater, arena stage, our universities like Howard and Gallaudet and Georgetown, to our friends in the east side like Folger and Theater Alliance, Theater J in the, at JCC, Woolly Mammoth, and the list goes on and on. And I'm so grateful for their partnership and their belief that theater can activate conversation and ignite civic change. But that's just until November. <laughs> so we kick off that in October, November, and those events will happen all throughout the fall, so everyone in DC is touched by Mosaic's mission. Mosaic's mission is also, has always been to activate artists to tell stories right now. We've always been a new play development company, but as you once said, I'm a new play junkie. And so I just can't get enough new work. And we wanted to make sure that this inaugural season ushers in a new chapter of Mosaic as an incubator for the great new stories that will shape a canon that reflects people like you and me, not in the margins, but in the center and in the spotlight. We want to be the place that allows playwrights of all backgrounds and diversities to create stories about all of our community at every stage of development. And so we're igniting this season, kicking off with the Catalyst series, of new play development that is an umbrella for all of the development work that our Mosaic will be doing. That includes two workshop productions, a new musical that we're producing in collaboration with Chicago's Victory Gardens Theater named Mexodus by Brian Quijada and Nigel G. Robinson. This musical tells the really unknown story of the thousands of black slaves who went down to Mexico during the Underground Railroad as opposed to going north. A very different border crossing, right? with music like hip hop and jazz and musical theater stylings, these two artists give us a whole new take on what musical theater can mean that's edgy, that's current, and that's rooted in issues of justice and history yet alive. We will also be producing a workshop production of our Trish Vandenberg Commission, Murdered Men Do Bleed and Drip, by Irish American playwright Jennifer Barclay and Irish Palestinian playwright Hannah Khalil. Thanks to the support of the Ventress Theater Fund, they are hard at work one working in DC, one working in the UK, in a cross-continental live theater meets digital theater event. You've never seen anything like it because it's not written yet. But Mosaic, <laughs> Mosaic is a place that says yes to artists. We say yes to bold ideas and we support them on their journey. So Jen and Hannah are working through Google Doc and Zoom right now. They'll host a workshop, ideally in uh, Ireland, with our partner Fish Ample, that's based in Dublin, and then head here to DC to work with Mosaic and our partner Solus Nua to uh, bring that work to life in spring 2023. So yes, full productions, but also that really key exciting stage where we allow the artists to join with directors and designers and you, the audience, to build new work that can go on to change what we think theater is even capable of doing, both in content and in form. And <laughs> in January 2023, we will host our inaugural New Play Festival. Three works in progress by writers, master writers like Paula Vogel and Emily Mann are circling and sending us their plays. And emerging bold talents like Angelica Cherie and Dave Harris are also saying, what can Mosaic do be in partnership with me on? That's what we want to be. The place that playwrights say, hey, we want to work with you. And we're so grateful to have amazing new play partners, national organizations like the Eugene O'Neill Center, Playwright Center, New York Stage and Film, all saying, yes, we want to be a part of Mosaic's new play activities. And we'll present three works in progress this January purposely at venues all throughout the city. Because a core value for me and Mosaic as we build forward is collaboration. And we want to make sure that Mosaic on the Move only gets deeper as we build forward and that we reach audiences where they are. So you might see us in Anacostia, you might see us in Northwest, you might see us um, in Chevy Chase. We're going out. We're going out and saying, let's bring the plays here uh, to you. Uh, and then we want to honor the brilliant work of Angelisa, our Director of Engagement and Education, and center our playwriting contest. The next generation of great American playwrights are happening at Mosaic, too. So we are going to center our playwriting contest 
as part of our new play development activities because those creative voices, boy, we need to hear from them right now too. Um, and then we will, like we do best, panels, discussions, in robust conversation. We're gonna bring master playwrights into dialogue with audiences through special panels and workshops in this January festival. So we're really excited about all the activities we've got coming on the new play front. Um, and then, in the spring, three productions, two of which I'll tell you about, one of which you have to check your Facebook, you'll find out soon. And I'm so proud to say, uh, I will make my mosaic directorial debut with Idris Goodwin's Bars and Measures uh, this winter, 2023, February 2023. Idris, the Steinberg Playwriting Award uh, winning playwright, a hip hop great poet who really believes that music and theater go hand in hand. And his work is full of rhythmic language, nuanced characters, and something we don't see on stage a lot. Nuanced, fully formed, emotional black men. I'm probably gonna cry at some point, so I know what that means. I'm so honored to support this brilliant playwright and help him build his audience in DC. You may have seen some of his work at Forum, pre four. This is his formal DC uh, return, and he can't wait. Bars and Measures is about two brothers, one Muslim, one Christian, one a jazz musician, one a classical pianist, one in jail, one not. And no matter what the boundaries and barriers between them may appear to be, the thing that can't be broken is their love and even more so their spiritual connection to music. And so featuring a live jazz score by Chris Fun, Baltimore's own brilliant Chris Fun, is creating an original jazz score for Mosaic Theater's production, which you will get to hear every night Gripping theatricality meets gripping story that is inspired by true events. That's what Mosaic does best. Art that reflects the newspaper with imagination and curiosity. And then I will say that one of the great honors is being able to welcome back Mona Mansoor. So, you may have seen Mosaic's production of the Vagrant Trilogy in 2018 that's now in rehearsals off Broadway at the Public Theater. We are bringing Mona back to DC with her brilliant play, Unseen. She just started rehearsals at Oregon Shakespeare Festival for this production, so we're waiting with bated breath for a potential new draft because we, again, want to support the artists on all of the journey of their plays. Unseen, directed by Theater J's Associate Artistic Director, Johanna Grunhut, will be a, a play that I think really speaks to Mosaic's commitment to international voices and stories. As Mona says, I'm a proud Turkish woman with a story to tell. Mosaic wants to be the place I tell my stories. And I'm so honored that she is calling us one of her DC, her DC artistic home. Unseen follows a photographer, Mia, who wakes up in Turkey in her ex-girlfriend's apartment and doesn't know how she got there. But perhaps her camera does. And it's a play that really focuses not just on the photographer, but who's inside those pictures. The things we, we flip in our newspaper, in our magazine, right by, and Andy referenced, that the constant, constant um, reality of war. What are the souls on the battlefield? Where are the souls at stake? That's what Mona is using her brilliant pen and her imagination to excavate and ignite a dialogue uh, for Mosaic this spring. So that's what we've got for you so far. One more show yet to be announced. We've been saying this is Mosaic's next chapter. We build on the firm foundation of this great company buoyed by the support of this board and staff to turn the page, to turn the page and start fresh with a new kind of joy that I hope is palpable and ignites conversation and connections. So thank you so much for being a part of this first step in that journey. You ain't seen nothing yet.